All right, everyone, welcome. We're here with Lauren. We're here with Elder Booth. We're going to do some plyometrics today. You probably just finished reading the article that I wrote. If you missed it, it's right up there above where we are now. We're going to do a quick three exercise plyometric circuit here. We're going to take a break and then we're going to do another one right afterwards. The reason we're putting this together. A lot of people don't have time to go to the gym. They don't have equipment. The best part about this is you don't need any of that. You can do this at home. The kids are there. Don't need to go to the store, buy any equipment, just your own body weight. So Lauren's a rock star. She's got the killer quads. She's going to be doing the hard version. Elder Booth, also a rock star, but he's in a shirt and tie. So we're going to have him do the modified version just so he doesn't get all sweaty there. First move, guys. You ready? Ready to do this? Yeah. Okay lunge jumps, what you're going to do is you're going to drop back, keeping the weight on your front heel, and then you're going to give a little hop, and then go right back down, lighten this quad and glutes on fire. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Lauren's got the hard version, Elder Booth is going to modify it, drop down, just kind of get up onto that toe. Good if you have knee or joint issues. 30 seconds, guys. We got the back on jump starting in three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Lauren's getting down nice and low. Other boots got the nice modified version. Taking off that impact. Kind of look like Super Mario jumping up and down like that there. Halfway through, guys. Pick it up. Woo! Feel that burn. I feel it. You feel it, Boop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seven, six. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. And we are not stopping here. Next one is a little frog hop. We're gonna get down and do a squat. And we're doing little, little jumps, but we're not gonna extend like a regular squat jump. What we're gonna do is drop down low, stay in this crouch, hopping up and down, keeping that core tight, chest tall, burning up the legs. You guys ready? Regular, modified, in. Three, two, one, here we go. Just a little? That's it, that's what we're looking for. Stay low. You know, if we look down at Elder Booth, he's staying on his toes there. That's what we want. Taking away the impact. A lot of people out there have the joint issues. Halfway through. This is awesome. Feeling it, <laughs> feeling the burn. Five, four, three, Two, one, and time. Oh. One more exercise. Skaters working the hip abductors, getting some lateral movement. What we're doing is we're going side to side. 30 seconds. Try to keep that landing soft. You guys ready? Starting in three, two, one, and here we go. Ooh, the sand makes there this we fun. Go. <laughs> Lauren, I know you can cover more ground than that. Well, on the sand. Get some distance. Other boots got the modified tap in that back leg down. Lauren's putting it all on the one leg here. Another 10 seconds. Finish strong, guys. In three, two, one, and time. So those are the three exercises that we're doing. And what they're going to do, run through them one more time. The only difference being with the lunge jumps, they did left leg first time. Second time, obviously right leg. Repeat one more time. Then you're going to take a 90 second. All right, guys, you've had your 90 second water break. You're still looking a little bit winded, but we're going to keep going. We've got one more circuit of three exercises. First one, line jumps. All you're doing, pick a line in your living room. You can even set a little article of clothing on the ground. You're just hopping forward and back, getting those calves going, getting those lower quads going, quick feet. Lauren's got the rock star version. Elder Booth is gonna modify it for us. 30 seconds like always, starting in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. There it is, nice quick feet. I gotta look up or I'm gonna get dizzy looking at those feet. <laughs> There we go, all the boots. Come on, boots. You don't even need to change when you get home from work. You can stay in your shirt and tie. <laughs> Just get after it. Looking good, guys. 10 seconds left. Finish it strong. In five, four, three, 
two, one, and relax. No time to rest here. The next one, probably the hardest move out of all of them, squat, switch, pick up. Start facing one way, hand on the ground if you want to challenge yourself. Otherwise, you can start up higher. What you're doing is you're jumping, switch midair, back and forth. Elder Booth's going to show us how to modify it. We're going to start in three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Lauren's getting big air. See how Elder Booth's getting that pivot. Once again, taking the strain off the knees, but he's still getting a nice plyometric benefit from it. Woo! You'll feel this one. Ten seconds left. Almost there in three, two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. We just have one more exercise. Okay, so we're gonna pick about the length of your living room. If your living room is five feet across, then use five feet. If it's longer, then just use the whole length of it, whatever you have to work with. We're doing squat shuffles. So this is a squat combined with some lateral movement. You're starting low, you're jumping high, landing low. Jumping high, landing low. And then after a few, after you get to the end of your room, send it back the other way. Very cat-like here. Focus on soft landings. You guys ready to rock? Yep. Going in, three, two, one. Here we go, last 30 seconds. Get down low, Lauren, get down there. And you can see Elder Booth is staying lower to the ground. that chest tall though we don't want any bending backs also a core workout here <laughs> sink those hips Lauren get down there we're almost there guys in five four three two one and time so once again we've got those three exercises repeat it and then 30 minutes are up get a nice stretch afterwards and then you're good to go. Woo. Nice job.